One good way of looking at croquet is to think of it as pool on a big area. It's the red and yellow ball against the blue and black ball. These targets are called various names in different countries. They're called hoops or wickets. People might think that's where the term sticky wicket comes from, but it's not quite true. Sticky wicket is a cricketing term. The distance the ball has to fit through the wicket is about the size of a dime. The aim is to get each ball through every wicket in a clockwise direction, then turn around and go anti-clockwise through the six wickets again, and then hit the peg. Croquet originated, they think, over in uh, Normandy and uh, went across to Ireland at the start. The shepherds played with uh, what they called uh, crochets, uh, big long hooks that they used for putting the sheep back in order, I guess. You get a point for every wicket you go through and one point for hitting the peg, or the stake as it's called, and so its first to 26 points wins the match. In about 1850, a man called uh, Jacques brought the game across to uh, London for the World Exhibition at the Crystal Palace. From there, the, the game really exploded amongst the gentry in England and is played pretty much the same as, uh, as then, with uh, the rules being really tightened up as, as, as we've gone along. If I hit my red ball through a wicket, I get another turn. If my red ball hits the blue ball, I get two more shots. I have to pick the red ball up and place it next to the blue ball or the ball that I hit. And when I hit the red ball, the blue ball must move. So what I could do if I was close to the wicket, I could place my red ball next to the blue, tap that, make it through the wicket, and I've got another continuation shot. I could turn around and hit that ball again and continue leapfrogging around the court. That is basically the general tactic to try and do. Use other balls to score your wickets. I was sitting in Sydney where I was working and I saw an advertisement for uh, uh, the Westmore Club, the tennis professional, and I applied. And uh, as luck would have it, I ended up getting it. My boss came up to me and said, you see that court down there, Wayne? You're the croquet professional. Here's a ticket, go down and learn how to play down in West Palm Beach, which is what I did. And I remember that I went down there, you know, not, not kicking and screaming, but I thought, what on earth am I going to be doing playing croquet? And pretty much from the very first time I hit the ball, I thought, this is just fantastic. You don't have to be such a great shot. If you're a great tactician, if you know how to play the split shots, then you can continue your break and beat people who are much more skillful at hitting straight than you are. But it does mean you have a lot of homework to do and you've got a lot of practice to do. So really it's, it's the, the intelligence behind the game plus the actual art of making split shots that I really love about it.